Okay, so this is where we're at on the analyzer. So we're gonna have a dip on 40. Let me switch this off. And this is going to be where we're gonna be at. Come on. So 3.57 would be a lowest point on 80. So we're gonna go ahead and hook the tuner back up. We've checked everything out. Um, let's see here. It's not touching. So what I thought was maybe what was happening is this is coming in close contact with these. And allowing RF to travel between here and there. And then this particular strap, which is part of the T-match. It's joining these two capacitors together at the middle of this section. So this piece right here goes right to here and goes into that coil. And if that directly went through here to there, I just, I don't know, I don't understand how it would do that, but, so, but if we were further down here and it, and it was over here, then it could effectively short out this entire section of coil just by jumping across here. So, we'll just leave the cover off of this and keep a watchful eye on it. And then, uh, you know, I'm not really sure uh, about this particular tuner. Like, I think what I'll do, like on the suggestion of somebody else, is I'll look for an old ceramic one or something like that. I don't think these tuners are as bulletproof as people say they are. I mean, that's pretty bad. That's just, you know, 1,000 watts. 